lo and behold, I have here a Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion fake set of Pokemon cards. And I'm actually really excited to open this because I've been holding on to this for quite some time. Let me show you the video that I made last time. This is the fake box opening that I did. Opening XY Evolution fake box. I went through the differences and the similarities between a real and a fake pack. For example here, this is a real Battle Styles booster box. And this is the fake one. Similar in size, but you can see it's less full. And when you look at Everything around the sides, everything is faded. They try to get it as real as possible, but it's significantly smaller. So let's open this up right now. Sun and Moon, Crimson Invasion, this is gonna be great. I got this off of the website. What website was it? I think it was AliExpress. AliExpress is almost the exact same thing. It's like Wish, basically. It's kind of like Wish, where they, you get a bunch of things from China that are fake. So AliExpress sells cards like this, Wish sells cards like this. You can also buy them on Etsy. Smells fresh and new, Brett straight from China. Look at how they're packaged. Usually it's in two stacks and it sits like this, but this Crimson Invasion, oh my God. Oh, this is backwards, that's good. This is all the artworks here. I've never opened up a Crimson Invasion pack before, so I don't know what the artwork is, but let's take a look. Does this look the same at all to you? A little bit. It gets very, it's kind of close. It's really close, actually. Probably the most, the closest I've ever seen. Like, look at this one, for example, here. This is shiny in the background, but in here, there's more details. Let's open up a pack, or two, or 10. As many as we need to, to get a good glimpse at how good these cards are. First pack. Oh my God. This is despicable. Oh my goodness. What is this made out of? Toilet paper? It's so thin. Look at the scratches down the side here. Can you see these scratches? Look at the scratches. Oh no. The color isn't even the same. Here, look. This is real, and this is fake. This is purple. So when I was younger, people used to buy fake Pokemon cards. Oh look, the cards are packaged upside down. So the fake Pokemon cards back in the day were thinner and they were purple. And I remember like some kids would have fake Pokemon cards. Okay, so we got a Staravia, we got a Pump, Pump Kaboo, Pill of Swine, I, I'm messing up the names of all of these. The artwork is really bad. The cuts are terrible. Oh no, no, no. This looks kind of good. You, but then you flip it over and you can see that it looks like someone printed it on their printer. But this GX doesn't look bad. This would fool any, no wait. I lied. You can't, you probably can't tell on the camera. On the camera it looks okay, but me looking at it right now, all of the lettering is kind of blurry and it looks like the font is stretched out but other than that at a distance you wouldn't be able to tell if i took a picture of this and posted it on ebay you might think it's real someone actually tried to scam me once with a fake card and i was like nice try my boy i can see oh another one plenty of scratches so which one's the rare okay so the rare is over here so, okay. I don't know why they do that. It's, so it looks like they, this is the rare card here and they flip it. Okay, so we got a Cubone. All of these cards are super thin. Primate, Milk Tank, and a Rayquaza GX. Let me go on eBay and, and compare the Rayquaza GX. Does it look the same? Kinda does, except for the background art, it does look very similar. Like this background, there's no geometric shapes or anything. But does it say the same thing? It does say the same thing. The font again is stretched out a little bit, but everything else is the same. This would fool anyone on eBay until you flip it over. If like you got it in your hands and you know it's fake. Ha! Huh, this is fun. Another card art here.
man the scratches on the backs of all of these this must have been how it was packaged for some reason they always put the rare on this side and they flip it i don't know why i have no idea why so like like i've never opened up a crimson invasion set so i don't know not bad so each one of these packs comes automatically with the gx it seems like you know what's different between this set of fake Pokemon cards and the Evolution set of fake Pokemon cards? The Evolution set came with cards that aren't even in, aren't even part of Evolutions. Like these are, this is a fake Evolution card. The Lu Lucario EX, this doesn't exist in Evolutions at all. And like the Caterpie EX. Like they they added cards that don't exist. Look, here's here's another. And like the bulb, this Bulbasaur is from this pack. This Bulbasaur is from Pokemon Snap. This picture is from Pokemon Snap. This card exists in Japanese, and it's extremely rare. But it doesn't exist anywhere outside of that. But it seems like these are all like regular cards. Well, let me know. If you guys know, just definitely let me know. Okay, let's open up another one here. Oh, that one opened like butter. Like butter, guys. Okay, so we got Haunter here. Sneasel. Whoa, that's some crazy artwork. Magikarp is... Wait, what? Is that Magikarp running away from a, a metal Magikarp? I don't get this image. I don't know what that guy's doing here. We got my breakfast. We got Grum Pig. And we got an Electrode. Yeah, you see how there's no pattern in the background? I'm assuming this is supposed to have a pattern in the background too. If you, if you just want to open Pokemon cards for the fun of it, you're not in a collector. You don't really care about that kind of stuff. Or you have like a really young child. I, I'm assuming this is an okay thing. Like these fake cards. Because this was this set was only like $40. Maybe less. I think it was like $20. Okay, let's see what, let's see what the, uh, the rare is in this one here. This was exactly the same cards that I just opened. Exactly the same cards in the same order. Except the GX is different. Mr. Mime GX. He wants this. I'll send it to you right now. Here, let me rip this Haunter. Super, super fake. Pokemon, gotta get them all. These are all the fakest cards I've ever seen. Okay. Ghastly. Is this even the right color? I feel like this is the wrong color. I could be wrong though. I don't know. I could be wrong. Cacnea, blah, 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 blah. Houndoom, blah, 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 blah. And we've got a, another Mr. Rhyme, Mr. Mime, sorry. After this one, I'm just gonna go through them quickly and just to see what all of the fake cards, I mean the fake rare cards are, or the fake GXs. Oops. What? You seen this? Wait a second. They have two different artworks for Execute? Are we seeing this here? No way. So we got this. And we got this. And they have different moves. This one has Contagious Explosion. This one has high, uh, Hypnosis and Ram. Oh my god. They're from two different card sets. I'm looking at it right now. This is one of 156. This is four of 111. So this one is supposed to be from Ultra Prism. Okay. This is, okay, this is Crimson Invasion. So this is Crimson Invasion, this is Ultra Prism. Two different sets of Pokemon cards. You have to be kidding me. Man, these fake Pokemon cards, they got it all. They got it all. They're just slipping things in here. And the scissor is different too. Are we seeing this? Completely different. I'm just I'm just gonna look at the rares. Okay, we got another Rayquaza here. Seems like they're all repeating themselves now. Nothing new. Ah, oh, here we go. We got a shift tree finally. Something new. Ooh, Articuno. <laughs> this is not Articuno was my favorite Pokemon. Well, I think Zapdos was, but I always used to love catching Articunos in the original Pokemon game. And here's everything else. Okay, that's it. That's enough fake cards for one day. I got so much more real packs that I need to unbox. I have the battle styles here. I have some 
of the shining fates that I need to open. But that's going to be it for today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I'll be back very soon with some more Pokemon unboxings.